Hi viewers, today we are going to see about rate equation. Okay, so rate equation actually, what is rate equation? So, rate equation is I mean, uh, you know very well the rate of the reaction is proportional to the concentration, right? Concentration of the reactant. So, here I have written cyclopropane. If you see the isomerization of cyclopropane into propene. The cyclopropane, I mean when the ch when you change the concentration of cyclopropane, the rate of the reaction also changes. So that's why rate of reaction is K into cyclopropane. So we should write as K square bracket. The square bracket shows change in the concentration. So K is a rate constant. Okay. So rate equation. So how to calculate the rate equations? So, if you see rate equation, you cannot found the rate, I mean determine the rate equation by using stoichiometric equation. So, what is stoichiometric? I mean, if you see a reactant, I mean, the, uh, these many number of moles of reactant reacts together and this many moles of products you will get. That is stoichiometric, right? I mean, the constant proportion of reactants and the products. So, here we cannot, one cannot found the i mean uh, find the stoichiom i mean rate equation by using stoichiometric equation but we can determine the rate equation by using experimental data okay so experimental data is when you do the experiment you can find out which is involved in that reaction right so i mean the slow determine i mean uh, slow step we will say i mean rate determining step is the slowest step right so that and all there and if you see the i mean changes and all you need to i mean for example if you take this reaction h2 i mean hydrogen gas when it reacts with iodine gas so here uh, the, these both gives you i mean reacts together and gives you hydrogen iodide okay in this case the rate equation is k h2 and i2 so here the change in concentration of h2 and change in concentration of i2 but if you take this example no reacts with co with oxygen this gives you no2 and co2 but here you can see the difference the rate equation is k no2 to the power 2 by no to the power 2 but the carbon monoxide and oxygen are not involved in the reaction so this is a very good example for rate equation so for example by using stoichiometric you cannot find the rate equation because here three reactants are there but in the rate equation they have mentioned only one of the reactant the reason is for example if you take this equation if you keep hydrogen as a constant value and if you increase the concentration of iodine the changes will be there in the product side and as well as if you keep iodine as a constant value and if you increase the hydrogen's concentration also you will get the changes in the product side so that shows both the reactants alters the rate of reaction that is why the rate equation is h2 and i2 uh, but in this reaction if you keep the NO as constant of you and if you change the concentration of CO and oxygen so nothing will happen in the rate equation I mean um, the reaction so that shows the I mean that shows the product you are getting the product because of using NO I mean NO changes the reaction that is why the rate equation is K NO twice and this two shows the order of the reaction second order of the rea uh, so this shows second order i mean the order of the reaction you will see in the next topic so here this shows i mean the double the amount of no concentration gives you the product okay so yeah we will meet you with the next nice topic Ta -ta, bye bye